Hello, my soccer universe to the Eredivisie and Liga uh, review. Yeah, Liga should have come first because the whole other ones that have. So we'll talk more, maybe a little bit more. So two very uh, two interesting leagues that I get a little bit too little to watch, and now with my reduced schedule, uh, yeah, will be a little bit less. In any case, I said it already in the previous two that I posted. Uh, my idea is now instead of making this really one big video, let's chop it down into the parts. I still can keep my playlist, I still can keep my backgrounds, although this is the most challenging one. And yeah, maybe I should not buy a Real Sociedad shirt and uh, rather get a shirt from one of these leagues to have it even out. As you see here, Ajax, for good reason, is doubled up. In a, oh, you know, I was thinking of getting a Ligue 2 team in there and I looked, looked at the results and all the Ligue 2 teams that I have, I uh, have played a draw, so I thought, nah, then I think Ajax with a big result deserve to get in there. And then I thought, shall I put all the Dutch teams uh, here? And I said, no, uh, those two need to be kept apart. I think they cannot really touch. It's too big of a rivalry that these this feels comfy. We had two top clashes, one in each league. Um, one, both kind of surprising the way they went, um, but one completely went out of whack while the other one very, very late found the turn into the right direction, although there was a surprise in store as well. So uh, those are the two uh, big themes, but um, we gotta start when we start in the Eredivisie, and I wanna take the Eredivisie first, with Ajax 9 0 over Cambuur. I mean, Ajax, sometimes you think they're plodding along, you think, you know, there were points behind PSV, um, and then they just throw out one of these results. This time at home last year, it was like this 13 uh, 0. Now it's 9 0 against Cambuur. And what's even a more impressive it had nine goals and eight different goal scorers. Only Neres, who scored the fourth and the ninth, uh, was a double scorer. That to me is uh, crazy. Loads of credit for Ajax also for putting on the jersey without the names. I absolutely love this. This Ajax home jersey. I know everyone's talking about the Bob Marley jersey. I really, this Ajax home jersey is very, very high on my list for multiple reasons and I again want to get it probably with a number and with no name. I've been thinking, 14? Maybe. Maybe. But you know, uh, also a class could be uh, of interest there. Or maybe I should get in Champions League and then there's no... Uh, I have to think about that. <laughs> uh, in any case, uh, out of this direction, and you know, they were not really beautiful goals, they were more, mostly long-range shots. I think Tadic... Uh, assisted a few, uh, found one, uh, Berghuis, I think finally scored a goal, Sebastian Alea, who just had four at Sporting, Ajax had just a week, you score five at Sporting, you could score nine at Cambuur, Ajax rolling in many, many ways. Um, as I said, the big one, and I, unfortunately, I didn't see any highlights, but um, PSV losing at home to Feyenoord 4 nil. If I just look here at the pure stats, I mean, PSV has been, playing even against Real Sociedad really, really, really well. But when I look at the pure stats, um, Feder took the lead just before halftime. Then I assume, no? <laughs> this is not me uh, guesstimating, they scored the second one, uh, probably on the car, car contact when PSV was really, really pressing. And then very late on they scored two more. Uh, so the first one was Tunstra, then Linsen, then against uh, again Tunstra, and then uh, Dessers in the 9, 91st makes it a route for PSV. Uh, that I did not see coming. Uh, same thing what I did not see coming is that AZ is having a horrible start to the season, but then I realized they've lost a lot of good players as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, the Dutch season is uh, tipping totally into Ajax's way. And I wanna see if Feyenoord can challenge PSV because I actually really thought that PSV is probably a good challenger to Ajax uh, this season. I also have, have, have to say that the turnaround for this PSV Feyenoord game was definitely, I think Feyenoord already played on Tuesday in the uh, Europa Conference and PSV played on Thursday. So, you know, a little bit uneven there as well. So that might have played for sure a part there too. Going to France and uh, as I said, there we have, there are actually three games. I, unfortunately, it's only highlights of the last one. Um, but the big northern derby between Lens and Lille uh, compounds the troubles for Lille, uh, who probably should have beaten Wolfsburg uh, in the Champions League. But now Frankowski uh, gives Lens uh, the winner. Um, 
last year they were thoroughly daunted dot dominated by Lille. Lille just cannot get, get it going. I actually have a feeling that we will have a second relatively soon coming. Um, another remark even was Nice and Monaco. Uh, Monaco take, take, take a lead uh, just before the half, then uh, Delors and uh, Bourdouin um, turn the game, game around, but Vincent Benyedi with, with, with a penalty uh, gives them a draw, and then uh, Nice even miss a penalty in the 82nd to uh, Guiri. So interesting there as well. Uh, Marseille's win over Rennes, that uh, also Marseille is having a really really good start to the season. Uh, San Paoli, I think the last time they were so so, so good was under um, who's the lead trainer? Bielsa. And now they're San, San, San Paoli and both are kind of disciples of each other. I think everyone at least from outside of France looked at the big PSG Lyon clash not only because it's the top game, but it was also Messi's home debut. However, Lyon played it really, really, really well. Messi, though, uh, also got, 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 got said he had his um, showings. I think with one uh, shot, he again hit the crossbar. Uh, he had a pretty good chance when Neymar assisted him in the first half. But overall, Lyon held it tight and uh, had a very smart match plan. And then uh, a really nice uh, attacking move uh, over uh, Toko Ekambi to Paqueta gives Lyon, uh, su rather surprising, but they are in the lead in the 54th minute. Uh, scores are level with a penalty, to be honest, I have to tell you. Neymar is grabbing the player and then kind of falls over. I mean, perfect diving. And and kind of deceiving the ref, and what I really don't get is why VAR took this one. I mean, Neymar getting the call. I think this is superstar get getting a call. And we always had this big is Messi. Um, Messi or Neymar is taking a penalty. I always, I always was uh, saying uh, Neymar over Messi, and Neymar took the penalty and scored. Scored. I think Neymar is a better penalty taker. There is a question whether you should let um, Ramos, if he would ever play, take it. Ashraf Akimi comes on for Messi. Messi not happy with being substituted, but then, um, yeah, uh, I guess he wanted to protect him. And then Icardi comes on. Is not for Di Maria. Is not going anywhere. Not going anywhere, and then he uh, pop, pops up, and is suddenly the win uh, scores the winner in the 92nd minute after Mbappe assist. Two one for PSG. Pretty uh, big result, I gotta say, uh, because PSG is still unbeaten, and Lyon also cannot get it going. Although they probably should have got got, got, got a result out, out there. Uh, as I said, I think it was not a very deserved win for PSG. Um, and Icardi again. Seemingly not in there and still scoring. But yeah, in any case, this was it for me from League A and from the Eredivisie. Um, give me a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, more videos like this. Please drop a line below what you thought about what was happening in these two leagues. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!